I just want to welcome you here. This uh, will be recorded as well so that some people can watch it at a later date. So I thought just briefly I would introduce myself and just explain why I'm actually here. Uh, so I'm Suzanne McCorkle and I um, am the, the owner of Happy Wife Awesome Life. And I got into essential oils probably or coming up to two years ago now um, because I was asked to photograph this girl for a leadership magazine over in the States. And I actually come from a, a science background, so radiation therapist by trade. And I went into this shoot thinking that it was going to be a bit funny um, that I was going to be photographing essential oils. But as she was talking about them and I was photographing her, I was really, really interested and thinking, well, if that's what they actually do, then why don't I know about that? And why doesn't everybody know about that? Um, but I was quite ethically challenged at the time because of, you know, of my background. But I went on to the doTERRA website to have a bit of a look around because I was intrigued. And I really liked uh, the apparent quality, their, their quality assurance processes that they had in place. And I also really liked the humanitarian projects that they had um, because I was really looking for something like that at the time, so it resonated with me. Anyway, I still parked it, but then a week later, I met up with a girlfriend and I just had an upset tummy and I had moaned to her about that and she put a drop of oil in my water and my gut just settled, you know, within a couple of minutes. So I decided to give them a go and my husband, who was very, very dubious to start with, and I have now seen just ridiculous, ridiculous results from them. Um, results that you wouldn't believe unless you, you know, use them yourself. So I can't explain, but I just feel compelled to, to, to share them. So that's what I'm doing here. And uh, I was saying to one of the girls before that I'm actually quite glad that we're not schlepping about um, a garden in Toowoomba today. I'm glad that we're all at home with our cups of tea and our jumpers on. So. I am just going to um, share my screen with you now for the presentation. So what I might actually just do, uh, get you to do is um, put your microphones on mute, if possible, please. That would be awesome. Okay, so hopefully you can see that, um, that screen. So welcome, welcome to my class on um, gardening with essential oils. Um, I, I touched on just a minute ago a couple of the reasons that I decided to share doTERRA, but one of the one of the biggest reasons that I love doTERRA and what they have to offer is the way that they source their plants. So they actually use what's referred to as a co-impact sourcing uh, scenario, which means that the um, it has to benefit the growers as much as it actually benefits doTERRA. So doTERRA go into these underdeveloped countries. They actually source oils from 45 countries all over the world uh, and 25% of those are developing countries. So they go into the developing countries. Um, they pay their growers a wage as opposed to per crop. In a lot of these countries, you know, this plant material and these oils, they're, you know, people are... They're highly sought after and, you know, there's lots of black market sort of stuff that goes on. So this is an, a scenario that actually has created something ridiculous like 20,000 jobs. Um, they've built, uh, you know, underground water pipes. That, so they now have running water instead of 
you know, hiking for four hours a day to get water for their villages. They've built medical centers and hospitals and schools. So it's, you know, what they're doing from a humanitarian perspective is, is absolutely amazing. So um, I love that every time, you know, I purchase oils, it's actually, you know, it actually helps you know, on a really, really big scale. The other great thing about sourcing oils from 45 countries is that when an oil is sourced from its indigenous environment, the soil acidity is better. They're harvested at the right time of the day, the right temperature. And when, when that's all in alignment, the actual efficacy of the oil is much, much higher than if they're purpose grown. So the other reason that, um, I love doTERRA is the quality assurance that I was just talking about before. So I mentioned my background is science. So um, doTERRA have what's referred to as certified pure therapeutic grade because there is no standardization of essential oils in the world. Um, and in Australia, for example, the standard is um, you need 3% plant material in a bottle for it to be called 100% pure essential oil. So because there is no standards, doTERRA, this is their standard. This is quality assurance process, which basically means that their oils are tested 11 times. They go through 11 different tests and then they're third party independently tested when they leave the lab. So each of your oils has got a barcode on the bottom of it. And you can actually go to a website, which I'll talk about a little bit later, and you can have a look at all of the tests that your batch of oil has undergone. So for a scientist, that really floats my boat. Um, you might not get off on that kind of thing, but um, I that makes me very, very happy. <clears throat> so... Essential oils can actually be used in several different ways and the most common way that people know of is aromatically. So, you know, 20 years ago, I remember there was this, you know, craze of getting those little oil burners with, uh, you know, with a candle and your oil on top. Well, it turns out that the heat associated with the candle actually destroys the properties of the oil. And anyway, they used to give me a headache, so I've never used oils since then again so for me to actually consider using essential oils um, I did have to do a lot of research to you know to get over the line so aromatically when we talk about aromatically we can use them just in our hands we can put a couple of drops in our hands and we can just inhale straight over our nose we can put them in a diffuser a diffuser as opposed to a vaporizer a diffuser is, um, is dry and cold as opposed to a vaporizer which emits moisture. So the vaporizer actually contributes to mold on your walls, which we don't need in Queensland. The uh, diffuser actually helps to prevent and reduce mold on the walls. So it's a bit of a win-win. These oils can also be used topically. So when they're used topically, they need to be used with a carrier oil. And there's three reasons for that. So the first one is for skin sensitivity. So these guys are really, really potent um, and less is definitely more. So one drop really is, is all you need. So in a bottle of, uh, in a 10 mil roller bottle for an adult, you would only put 10 drops of essential oil into that bottle. So one, because of skin sensitivity, two, because it saves you a heck of a lot of money when you dilute them like that, and three, because oils are actually volatile. So if they don't have a carrier to keep them on the skin, they just evaporate straight off. So really, really important. The third way that these, well, 28 of the doTERRA oils can be used is internally. So I would never even consider using any other oils internally um, and it is a very personal thing um, there is uh, information by um, the medical advisory board by one of the um, oropharyngeal specialists on the doTERRA website that talks about the mechanism and the physiology of ingesting oils um, and how how the body works and how how it's safe so 
many of them can be used internally and that can be in cooking, in baking. Um, it can be used just a you know, drop of lemon in a glass of water in the morning. Um, it can be used as a, a, a flu bomb. So anyone in our house who gets sick, I will make them up a flu bomb, um, which is to be taken internally. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. So the other thing I love about um, doTERRA is the, the Healing Hands Foundation. So again, literally any time that you're purchasing oils, a proportion of that is going to the Healing Hands Foundation, which carries out all sorts of um, humanitarian projects all over the world. And in fact, we actually have our very, very own um, Healing Hands Australia um, foundation now so we're going to start hearing about projects that are going on in Australia that um, our purchases are going towards which is really exciting alrighty so into the gardening stuff so one of my um, big passions with doTERRA is preventing chronic disease and the reason for that is because I have chronic disease. So I um, was diagnosed with systemic loop, uh, lupus about 14 years ago. So I sort of started my journey towards um, reducing toxins back then. Um, and also because we move out to a property, um, which is a rural property, in about a month's time. And I'm going to be getting serious about my gardening. So um, this really resonated me with this presentation. So um, basically, we just all really need to be reducing our toxic load because the rate of chronic disease, I mean, at the moment is out of control. Our medical systems um, are not, do not have the capacity to manage um, you know, an ageing population with chronic disease for you know, for very much longer. So we basically need to be doing something else. So this is a great start. <clears throat> so um, not only can the oils, you know, help you clean your home and reduce stress and, um, you know, manage all sorts of um, seasonal threats and hay fever and that kind of thing, um, but we can use them in the garden, which is really, really exciting. So to start off with, um, I'm going to talk about TerraShield. Uh, now TerraShield is um, a relatively new, well it's newly updated um, and it includes Lang Lang Cedarwood, Catnip, Lemon Eucalyptus, Litsia Arborvitae, Nutka and Vanilla Bean Absolute, um, which all have really specific chemical compounds um, <clears throat> excuse me, which prevent against, um, you know, environmental issues. Um, and they also have essential oils that provide a vapour barrier for plants, protecting them from, you know, threats in their environment. So to make a pest spray, um, you need a bottle of purified water, 500 ml of purified water, and add 50 drops of TerraShield. So in your 15 ml bottle of TerraShield, there is 250 drops. So um, you need 50 of those in your glass or stainless steel spray bottle. Um, shake it well because obviously oil or water does not really mix. So anytime you use it, you need to just give it a good shake up. Um, so you can spray it, you know, on the bugs, you can spray it on the family, but you just need to be a little bit mindful of the eyes. Just need to be careful in the eye area. Um, but that's a cracker. It's um, awesome. It actually also comes in a, um, a 30 mil, like pre, I guess it's got some um, coconut oil. So you can actually just use it as an insect repellent and it's awesome. And a little bit goes a long way. So you just need to put a little bit on and then sort of spread it around. It's, it's great. Um, so another recipe here that we've got is a bit of a hand soap. So um, half a cup of white sugar, some Castile soap, which, which you can just get at the supermarket, two tablespoons of fractionated coconut oil. Uh, for those of you who don't know what fractionated coconut oil is, it is coconut oil that has the fat content taken out of it so that it doesn't smell um, and so that it doesn't solidify in winter. 
So that's made by doTERRA. Uh, one teaspoon of vitamin E and 15 drops of um, geranium. So this is great for exfoliating after, you know, you've got your hands all mucky from um, having your mitts in the, in the dirt. Um, we also have here a, a tool cleaner. So that's just got two litres of water and 10 drops of melaleuca. So that's really nice and easy. And this is the one that I really love. Um, so you might need a, a notepad um, and a piece of paper for this one. So this is about using um, companion planting. So choosing essential oils um, for spraying or watering on vegetables. So basil, for example, loves tomatoes and lettuce. So you would spray your tomatoes and lettuce with basil in a spray bottle. Uh, dill loves cabbage, cucumber, lettuce and onions. Now doTERRA doesn't have a dill oil yet. Um, but if they did, you would spray that on your cabbage, cucumber, lettuce and onions. Rosemary for beans, cabbage and carrot. And sage, which we also don't have, cabbage, carrots and tomatoes. But there's no reason why you couldn't plant those plants next to those particular um, vegetables. And that would actually really help as well. Um, basil, marjoram, oregano and thyme love all garden crops. So you could even just make up um, a spray with each of those in there and put it on your veggies. Uh, white vinegar. White vinegar is just great for everything. It's a natural herbicide. Um, so you can use it in full strength on weeds in cracks and crevices. Um, it kills slugs, so you can use a 50-50 uh, mixture of vinegar and water for slugs. Um, to preserve cut flowers, use two teaspoons of vinegar and one teaspoon of sugar for every litre of water when you cut your, you know, cut your flowers when you get them from the florist. Um, and to wash your garden vegetables, uh, 1.5 litres of water and one teaspoon of vinegar. The other thing you can use to wash your veggies is actually on guard or lemon. So you can actually just soak your veggies and that just gets rid of those hideous pesticides that are on them if you're not, you know, not buying them organically. This is another great slide, which you might, I'll just maybe take a photo of it um, because this actually is the specific oils for the specific bugs, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so the other thing to consider when you, you know, growing produce is um, Epsom salts. So magnesium is critical for seed germination and the production of chlorophyll, and it aids in the absorption of phosphorus and nitrogen. So sulfur is a key element in plant growth, which helps produce vegetable uh, vitamins. So to use Epsom salts, add one tablespoon to the soil when planting, um, or mix into the soil around established plants. Um, also dissolve one tablespoon per litre of water and use the water to plant, uh, to water every two, or to water the plants every two weeks. Um, and if you're having pest problems, then that's the time to add the essential oils, you know, to that um, Epsom salt mix to get rid of those specific pests. So food grade DE, which is made from fossilized, oh, sorry, um, which is made from fossilized water plants called diatoms, is composed of 3% magnesium, 5% sodium, 2% iron, 19% calcium, and 33% silicon and trace minerals. Um, it is used by natural gardeners around the globe as a natural insect control protocol in addition to the implementation of essential oils and works, works by drying out bugs on contact with its microscop, microscopic sharp edges that cut through an insect's 
protective exoskeleton. Um, so you'll need to wear a dust mask when you're using this, um, but the food grade DE means that it's safe for your plants. And you can spray it wet by using a ratio of one cup of DE to every two litres of water. So once you have produced all of your beautiful vegetables, you can come and share some with me. Um, basically, um, you'll probably end up with a whole heap of blisters on your hands um, and you'll probably end up um, a little bit sore and stiff. Um, so some of you know of the uh, deep blue um, or ice blue blend, which is great for um, the, you know, your joints and when you're kneeling and bending and all the rest of it. So that's a great one. Um, and um, lavender is great for, you know, hands or scratches or on your arms or your hands after, you know, you've been mucking about with, um, with the garden. Um, another one um, for blisters or anything like that is Correctex, doTERRA's Correctex which has got multiple essential oils on it. So any cuts, scratches, abrasions, Correctex is just your, you know, topical ointment, which, you know, gets rid of everything in a, in a very, very big hurry. And of course, you'll want to have a little bit of a drink afterwards. In Canada, they might drink lavender lemonade. In Australia, it's more likely to be beer. Um, but we have a lovely recipe here for Canadian lavender lemonade, which you might want to pop down because it does sound a little bit nice. Um, you can add vodka or gin or anything like that um, if you so desire. So did you know that it takes 10 pounds of lavender to make five mils of lavender essential oil and a huge 67 pounds of plant material to make five mils of Melissa oil, which is mad. Um, and what is it? Something like 300,000 rose petals to make five mils of rose oil. It's, it's mad. Um, so Melissa, which is also referred to as lemon balm, is named for its sweet aroma, which attracts bees to help pollinate the garden. Melissa actually means um, honeybee in Greek. Um, so it actually also has a positive effect on mood, um, as well as calming feelings of tension, contributes to great sleep. Um, in fact, it is considered by many in the complementary medicine world to be the most potent essential oil available. Um, you can dilute it or use it um, in the diffuser. Um, and we actually, uh, as you guys would know, now also have Litsia, uh, which is very, very, which has very, very similar qualities to Melissa and obviously it smells very, very similar and is a lot cheaper. So um, that's always a benefit. So I could just go on and on and on and on about doTERRA today. Um, so you guys are probably wondering, you know, how you can get involved. Um, so I'm just gonna really, really quickly uh, tell you how I got involved with doTERRA and, and how you can as well. So basically, um, there are three ways that you can get your doTERRA oils. One is retail, um, some stores sell them um, and you can buy them you know, through other people at a retail price. Um, there is also a wholesale account, which is like Costco. So you pay a fee, which is $35, and then you get wholesale prices for the whole year. So basically, if you're gonna buy two or more products in a year, it makes more sense to get a wholesale account because it's a 25% saving. Um, and then you can also buy a kit, which actually waives that $35. So kits are made up to, um, you know, save you money. So that's a great way, great way to go. 
So um, you may have a couple of questions and some of those, so I'm going to go through a couple of frequently asked questions. Um, what is the best way to get started? So I would recommend a wholesale membership or a kit because that's the way to save the most money. Um, but what if you want to start nice and slowly? So um, I would still recommend a wholesale membership for $35 and just you know, a couple of oils as, as you need them. Um, a lot of people also ask, if I get a wholesale account, does it mean that I have to do a doTERRA business? Absolutely not. A wholesale account simply means that you get 25% off your oils for you to enjoy. So there's nothing to do with the business. So if you guys have any questions, um, you can put them, um, you can write them down and I can answer them for you. Uh, but apart from that, um, there's one chat. Oh, that's from Corinne. Yeah. So apart from that, um, thank you very much for coming today, for attending. And I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm looking forward to